Warning, the following game which you are about to view is rated M for Mature due to blood and gore and violence. Also, this is a horror game, so scary sights and scenes await. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello everyone, this is Tailsfan109, and welcome back to Let's Play Resident Evil Code Veronica X Blind. Last video, Steve died, and that upset me, I wanted him to live. And then the game lost any chance of redeeming itself as a horror game by turning into a fighting anime as we then had to fight a boss with literally no time to prepare, yet somehow I won. And now I believe this is the game's end, so this is the time to put away all of this weak stuff and start taking out the big guns. And remove whatever I don't need. Um, let's see here. I'm gonna take out all the stuff. I can't believe I didn't actually use these bowgun arrows after the tyrant's fight, as far as I recall. There we go. <laughs> A little inventory management before moving onward. Only take what I need. I should have some heals on me. How many heals have I got? Find out! I shall count them! One heal! Ah, ah, ah! Two heals! Ah, ah, ah! Oh, well, that's it, actually. Oh, that's that's actually a little scary. Uh, we'll take one for now. So, yeah, it's time to keep the good stuff. Shotgun, Magnum, Bowgun. This should fare for now. Because I believe this is the end of the game now. We're actually there. Just got to put this jewel in place, and then we're going to meet up with Claire and, I guess, escape. What else is there to do? And go this way. Oh. Hey, guys. Holy. All right. I didn't even rip the jewel off of this yet. There. There we go. So I did not need the jewels from the tiger statue after all. Place this last jewel in. Alright. This is getting all haunted mansion on me. It's like the end of that game where... You get all of the spirits, and then you're just able to turn this little thing that reveals the secret passage, and... Okay, there are still zombies. I could probably just take care of it with a shotgun by now. Where am I? Oh! There's a lot more to explore than I thought. Oh, maybe I do have a little more to go. Ooh, is that a file? Code Veronica report. After many long years of research, I finally identified the inheritance element that administers the intelligence of man. I even succeeded in manipulating the absolute value of intelligence artificially by recomposing the base alignment of the element. I then sampled the gene of our great ancestor, manipulated its element, then implanted it into the unfertilized egg of a surrogate mother. What I didn't expect was that twins, a boy and a girl, were born. The boy had higher intelligence than normal, but not high enough for him to be considered a genius. However, the girl had unmatched intelligence that easily allowed her to be classified as a genius. She was exactly what I had been looking for, the revival of our great ancestor. I already determined their names. The girl's name, Alexia, and the boy's name, Alfred. I'm certain that Alexia will, evaluate, will elevate the name of the Ashford family to extreme glory, Alexander Ashford. Okay, I guess we have a bit of favorite just on that. Ooh! Alright, I can make an R heal here. With these herbs. How nice. I am on yellow currently. If, whoops. There we go. Alright. Take a little bit of time to explore. 
If I see handgun ammo by this point, I'm not even gonna bother with it. I don't need it anymore. Alright. I'll go there when I want to meet up with Claire. For now, let's explore what else there is to find. And yes, I guess I'll be killing zombies with a shotgun by this point. Alright, we'll go this way first. Ooh, okay! This is good! More green herbs! They're preparing me for the next boss fight, aren't they? Okay, I'll combine this one, and then I might as well thrust myself into green. There we go! Oh, I skipped a door. My bad. Alright, what's in here? Uh, another save room. What do we got here? Oh, there's Veronica again. Oh, boy. The sterile room key. Okay. Is there really not an item box here? Oh, man. Alright, um, how much item space have I got? Not enough. Darn it. Okay. Alright, well, hold off for now. There is another item box I can go to, but for now, I need to make sure I have inventory space still on me. What's in here? Silence, that can't be a good thing. What? What? Another exact replica of uh, the blue sapphires removed. Um, okay. Why are we in exact replicas? Yes, yeah, stop the music box. <laughs> The red rupee has been removed. Why is this here? There's gotta be a reasoning that I'm in a place like this again. Up. Uh, okay. Okay. I think I see where this is going. I think I see. Hi. I don't have much reason to kill you guys, do I? I should probably shouldn't even be going this way. Yeah. <laughs> okay. The sterile room key. Maybe I should check the key, see if it has a biohazard sign on it, actually. Okay. Okay, now I really understand. So now I have to get the jewels with the power shut down. Alright, I can make sense out of this. I won't let myself falter again. I've gotten lost enough times in this game. I don't want to get lost again. Alright. Sweet. But I gotta shut off the power again. <laughs> Yay! This will do something. I don't know what. But at least I finally figured out that there's a purpose for those jewels. It's just not exactly what I thought. This is fine, though. I knew when it said 
that it was run by power that eventually I was going to have to get both of them. Okay, uh, power. Where's the switch again? There it is. All right, shut off the power. Yay. I wonder what this will do for me. And I wonder if this is even mandatory. Maybe I'm just gonna get a helpful item. Maybe it's for magnum ammo, because I've only gotten two sets of magnum ammo in the entire game. It's very dark in here. Did I pass the door? Hello? Alright, fine. I thought I could make it without use of the lighter. Alright, there we go. Let's do this! No power, so I can finally get both of these jewels. Because all the world's gems are mine to keep. I'm a thief. I can take both of them, and I have enough space for it, which is good. Okay! Yay! I did it! Proud of myself. I, uh, yeah, but I might need some water. I did bring you with me, right? Nope. But I got Sonic and Tails. But they they can't satisfy my thirst. But they can satisfy my happiness. I like being happy. All right, let let's deal with these jewels. See what I get out of it. <gasps> Okay, why are they back? Why are they back? I... Oh my gosh, they're all back! Actually, I think even more so than before. Alright, kill this one. Oh, this isn't the right room! This is just the save room. I'm not doing this. I, I don't have any inventory space left. You know, I have a lot of extra ammo, so I still have acid rounds, I still have the submachine gun, I still have the assault rifle, and half an extra clip. Alright, let's do this. Okay, it's, it's just this puzzle, basically, all over again. The jewels were just in a different place. Although they were much easier to get this time, I must say. I can't believe they're repeating this puzzle. I guess they ran out of ideas. In that case, maybe you didn't need this part. This one honestly just feels like unnecessary padding. There was there's no reason to do this again. They just threw it in there. Because they want to say they made the longest Resident Evil game yet. Alright. Let's see. What is up here? If I can. There. Do not be a boss, because I haven't saved yet. Maybe I should have saved. Where am I? Okay. I'm not feeling very trusting of this. But I don't want to use up any extra inventory space. I've got two full heals, but... It just screams boss room. I'm just gonna probably fight Alexia again. You know what? You know what? I'm gonna play this safe. I'm saving. There's a set of ink ribbons in there. There's most likely only gonna be one item I need to get. By golly, I'll save. If I need extra inventory space, well, there's another item box not too far off. 
but I just don't want to have to redo things again and I already know I'm getting the E rank so honestly what's saving more by this point lag there we'll, we'll just save cuz I'm probably gonna die and you guys don't want to watch me go through everything again and I'd have to cut out and I don't feel like doing that so best course of action is just to save and fight Alexia again what else am I gonna fight by this point she's already transformed the game has clearly shown she's alive so I'm gonna fight Alexia again and she's probably going to be harder but I've got a magnum and explosive arrows and a shotgun if I really gotta resort to that Maybe I want to replace the shotgun with the assault rifle by the end. Alright, let's fight a... Oh, for heaven's sakes! There wasn't even a boss in here. Oh! Okay, I know what to do with this. I don't like that camera angle. I don't like lag even more. Alright, um... Combine! Hmm... That doesn't look quite right. Did I miss one somewhere? I thought for sure this was gonna be a boss. I had to have missed one... You know what? Maybe it's in the room where Steve died. I probably have to go back there about now. But hey, I wanted to play it safe. I I don't want to do too many things over again by this point. I've played this game for so long now. Uh, this way. Not the bed. Yeah, th this has been a really long Resident Evil and <laughs> maybe a little too long just just a little I mean this one has been going on longer than any other Resident Evil title I don't know if it had to be this long with horror games it's not always easy to keep it enthralling for super long periods of time like you read up on Dead Space yeah Dead Space did very well when it came out but the thing was people thought it lasted a little too long it can be hard to make a horror game continuously be effective when it goes on for such a long period of time that you feel like you've kind of stumbled upon every new trick the game could throw at you and eventually you might just adapt to the way it does things granted this game hasn't been that scary at all but just saying. Alright, let's meet up with Claire. The self-destruct will probably start. Claire? Is that you, Claire? Chris? No! The door won't open. Hey, is Steve with you? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Claire. We have to get out of here immediately. Can you unlock it from the inside? No, I can't. There should be a self-destruct system somewhere. If you activate it, all the electronic locks might be deactivated. The security file. Um, what's up with the music all of a sudden? Something gone inside? 
All right. All right, a security card. I don't actually know where to use this. <laughs> Darn it. Well, um, that might have to wait for next video. Until then, this has been Tales Fan 109, and have a nice day.